After weeks of searching, a missing man's body has been recovered. The Saginaw County Sheriff's Office finally able to provide closure after the man's boat capsized on the Titabawasi River last month. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. And I'm Elise Ramey. TV5's Lenita Brooks joins us in the studio with more. Lenita. Yeah, Elise, that man is 26-year-old Nathan Robbins of Titabawasi Township. Robbins and his friends were out on a flatboat the night of February 12th when they capsized and Robbins went under. The Saginaw County Dive Team, along with other members of the Southeast Michigan Dive Group and MSP, searched the river continuously for Robbins' body. The Saginaw County Sheriff's Office announced they found his body last night, several hundred feet south of where the boat originally capsized. They add, due to the water's condition, it made the search even that much more difficult. His body was found nine feet under the water, and that water, much like the Saginaw River, is full of dirt, mud, debris, sticks, and the visibility is next to zero. So it would be nearly impossible to see your hand in front of your face diving, uh, below the surface of the water, especially at nine feet. So our divers actually went to the area where the cadaver dog alerted and swam under the water to the depth where the body was and by feel alone were able to feel Mr. Robbins' body under the water. The Saginaw County dive team put four divers into the Tidabawasi River to search, each spending about 40 to 60 minutes in at a time. The dive team says the time of year as well as the cold temperature also contributed to the difficulty of the search. Anytime we're involved with uh, cold water, uh, cold weather, it, it greatly uh, ma it makes things much more difficult. Uh, we had uh, regulators freezing and uh, we had a lot of ice flows coming down the river that made it very hazardous to both the boats operating on the surface and for any divers that we uh, chose to put down. An autopsy will be performed and the investigation is still ongoing. Live in studio, Lanita Brooks, WNEM TV5.